The secrets of self-value are accept and improve. Hidden impairments to self-value are things the brain does on autopilot. And those are personality traits, personal qualities, things like lazy or insensitive, and habits. Personality traits are enduring patterns of thoughts, feelings, and behaviors, and they emerge in childhood. So uh, they're not the result of behavioral patterns within relationships. Now, everyone has traits they don't like. Most people manage dislike traits with denial, avoidance, or blame. When denied, avoided, or worse, blamed on others, dislike traits are continual drains on self-value. You're not going to like yourself if you're blaming, denying, or avoiding personality traits. For example, self-centered people automatically consider their own interests with little consideration for others. Now, self-centered denial is they're offended by any suggestion that they might be self-centered. Self-centered avoidance is feedback from others as a waste of time. Self-centered blame, only envious, small-minded people would think I'm self-centered. Another example is a stingy person automatically withholds affection, appreciation, and sharing. Stingy denial, I'm not wasteful. Other people in my life must earn appreciation, affection, and sharing. Stingy avoidance, there are more important things to think about. Stingy blame, it's the way I was raised. You can always blame it on your parents, right? An arrogant person automatically assumes superiority and demands special privileges. Arrogant denial, I regard everyone as equals. Arrogant avoidance, I can't be bothered with the perceptions of inferior people. And arrogant blame, me, arrogant, you're a pathetic loser. Almost universally, we're intolerant of people who display our own dislike traits. Self-centered people are quick to condemn selfishness in others. Stingy people can't abide misers. Arrogant people hate anyone who acts superior. The extreme and tragic example of that is when there is more than one child in a family where there's child abuse. It tends to be one child, and that one is the one that reminds the abuser the most of himself or herself. The trouble with blame, denial, and avoidance, they consume enormous mental energy. It takes a lot more energy to blame, deny, and avoid than to accept. They spur negative reactions from others. They lower genuine self-value. And they make improvement impossible. We can't improve what we don't accept. So the mantra has to be accept and improve. I accept that I have personality traits I would like to change. Now here are examples. I accept that I'm self-centered. I'll try to consider other perspectives in my thoughts and behavior. In other words, your automatic instinct or reflex can't be trusted. You have to try to consider other perspectives if you're self-centered. I accept that I'm stingy. I'll try to be appreciative, open, and experience the joy of giving. You have to practice those things. I accept that I'm arrogant. I'll practice the virtue of humility. I'll try to be a good person, recognizing that I'm no better than anyone else.
no worse either. Habits and qualities are not inborn, they're, they're learned, but they have the same kind of structure. Your brain will do them on autopilot and they're subject to blame, denial, and avoidance, just like personality traits. I assume the worst about people. I'll recognize the negative bias of my judgments and consider alternatives. I'm disrespectful. My urge to disrespect is a signal to raise my core value. We're only disrespectful of other people when our core value is low. And when it's low, we have to raise it. Disrespecting others will lower it. I gossip. I'll recognize that while gossip is fun or interesting, it's harmful to others. I'm sometimes phony, pretending to be something I'm not. I'll raise my core value and empower myself to be genuine. Pretending you're something you're not is always a function of low self-value. Now here's an exercise. List all the personality traits, qualities, and habits you want to change. Accept each one. Say it out loud, I accept this about myself. And then write what you'll do to improve each one. And say that out loud. In fact, Say it into a phone or a digital recorder and then play it back. That's the way to overcome personality traits that you don't like, habits and personal qualities that you don't like. Accept and improve.